Almost done, sweetie. This is stupid. How dare you say your punishment is stupid? You were disgustingly naughty at school, acting like a baby. That's very immature and naughty of you. Now you get a time out. Sit here and think about what you've done. Are you? My naughty daughter has run away, disobeying me in the process. How dare she do this to me? She is more grounded now. She is wearing a nappy for goodness sake. Oh, she is so naughty. Don't just stand there, young lady. Explain why you ran away. Well, I'm waiting. I never explain anything. Ivy. Iris. Poppy. Lions. You do not run away and refuse to explain why. No. Okay, now we can do. Excuse me. What do you think you're doing? Sitting down. On the desk? Oh, you are very naughty. How dare you decide it was okay to sit on your desk? Are you ignoring me? Oh, that's really rude. And very naughty. Don't just sit there, you naughty girl. Answer me. Ignorant child. Oh, you are so rude. Detention. Three weeks. If you don't stop being rude and naughty, I will have you expelled. That's it. I warned you. Attention students and faculty. Nikita Duncan is expelled because remedies of being naughty. So, young lady. You got expelled from school, did you? Yeah. Great, huh? No. Getting expelled is not great. It is a very bad thing. And you are very naughty for what you've done. It's the best thing that ever happened to me, and I'm happy. Oh, you are such a naughty little girl. I can't have you uneducated. I simply must find you another school. And that won't be easy. Don't then. Suits me. How dare you even suggest such a naughty idea. It's illegal for children not to attend school without a good reason. And being expelled is not a good reason. It is if no other school's going to want me. Oh, they'll have to take you. Unless they want to be closed. Pending a hearing, as to why they deny you that benefit. Stop smiling this instant, you naughty girl. This is nothing to be proud of. Yeah, it is. No, it isn't. You should be ashamed of yourself. Your behavior is totally unnecessary. I'd better put you to bed this very instant, and you are grounded until I say otherwise. This is one fucking gorgeous day. Nikita. How many times have I warned you about that language? Forty. Make it forty-one. How dare you disobey me for the fortieth time? I don't wish to keep hearing you use foul language. One more time, and you're grounded. Understood. It better be. The nerve of that bitch. How dare she threaten me like that? She pisses me off beyond belief. Young lady you disgust me. How dare you swear after promising your mother you wouldn't, and then speak about her like that. What's it got to do with you, kind? I happen to be her best friend, you naughty little girl. How dare you drop the C-bomb on me. Nikita Kathleen Duncan. I have had it with you and your foul mouth. How dare you. You're grounded. Get inside the house and go straight to your room. You. Naughty. Little. Girl. I love watching this show. Nikita. You need to go and tidy your room. Not now. I'm watching my favorite program. Nikita Duncan, are you being naughty again? No. Yes you are. You're disobeying me, and that's very naughty. I'm not though. Then do as I say. Go and tidy your room. Can't be asked. I'm not asking you, 
I'm telling you. Go and tidy your room, right now. You naughty and disobedient little girl. You'll be grounded if you disobey me one more time. Shut up. You don't mean that. Go. And. Tidy. Your. Room. Right now. Naughty little girl. No way. That's it. You're grounded for three weeks. How dare you keep disobeying my instruction to go and tidy your room. I will not tolerate it. That felt good. Yuck. That's disgusting, and very naughty. Excuse yourself this instant, otherwise I'll put a nappy on you. Excuse myself for what? Breaking wind. It stinks. So excuse yourself this instant, or... Nappy. Don't be silly. If that's going to be your attitude, it's nappies for you. Come on, lay down. It's time to put a nappy on you. You are going to start wearing nappies out to play. And I'll put a nappy on you before we next go out. This is a lovely day today. It is, isn't it? Purple-headed freak. Nikita Duncan. How dare you call me a purple-headed freak. You are a very rude and naughty girl. I hope you're not being naughty out here, Nikita. No, ma'am. Yes, you are. You're insulting me. And now you just lied to your mother. Oh, you are so naughty. Nikita Duncan. Can't you go one day without being naughty? How dare you insult Cheryl, and then lie to me about it. You're a very naughty little girl. Apologize to Cheryl this instant. No way. Well, I'm not leaving without one. You are grounded for five weeks. How dare you insult Cheryl, lie to me about it, and then disobey me about apologizing to her. You're a very naughty girl. Get inside the house and go straight to your room. I'll be up in ten minutes to change your nappy and put you to bed. I think I'll pretend to be dead today. That'll be fun. Nikita, it's time. My daughter has been killed? The last thing I wanted to do was arrange a funeral for my little girl. I loved her so much. Better call the coroner to come and move her body to the morgue. Move my body to the morgue? Wait a minute. Dead bodies don't speak. Unless, all right young lady. The fun's over. Open those eyes and get up. You've got some explaining to do. Well? I'm waiting. For what? An explanation as to why you thought it was a good idea to trick me into thinking you were dead. It had better be a good one. Mom, it was just a bit of harmless fun. Why so serious? No, it wasn't any fun at all. It was a dirty trick to play on your mother. I thought you were dead until you revealed yourself to still be alive. You're grounded. But I... No buts about it either. Go to your room, right now. You have been really naughty today. The nerve of that child. She is just so naughty. I have had enough of your naughty behavior. The way you keep it up is almost criminal. What are you going to do? I'm calling the police to have them come and arrest you. Arrest me? What does that mean? It means they'll come and take you to jail. Which is where you deserve to be. I don't want to be arrested. Well, hard luck. You're going to be arrested today. Hello, is this the police? Yes, this is the police. How may we be of service? My daughter needs arresting. Her naughtiness is too much for me to handle. It's a criminal level of behavior. We'll be right there. Thank you. Bye. The police are on their way. Your arrest is close at hand. So, Mrs. Duncan. In what way exactly has your daughter's behavior been a crime? She played a very dirty trick on me the other day. She made me think she was dead. Oh really? Looks like she'll be coming with me then. Yes. Arrest her. 
Get her out of my sight and into jail fast. Nikita Duncan. You're under arrest for faking your death and causing a scare. You do not have to say anything. Anything you wish to say can and will be used against you, in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you do not have an attorney, one will be assigned to you. Why did I ever do that trick on my mom? She wouldn't have had me arrested otherwise. Lay down young lady. It's time to change your nappy. Done. This is a good show. Yes it is. Nikita, there's a funny smell about the house. You need changing. No I don't. Yes you do. Come on don't be naughty. Lay down so I can change you. But I don't need it. Naughty monkey. Lay still now. There you go. All nice and clean. We're law. I know, but you must obey it if you don't want to end up back in jail. I know that but it is weird. You just there and watch your shows. I'll be back to change you when you need it again. Oh yeah. This is the episode I've been waiting for. Look at that. I hope Nikita is okay. She's being unusually quiet. Mom, I have an idea. What's your idea? Nothing naughty, I hope. Nothing like that. Just bashing people's brains in. Nikita Law Duncan. How dare you suggest we go out and commit GBH? That's a very naughty idea, and you are very naughty to even contemplate it. Don't be such a buzzkill. That's it. You are grounded. You are so naughty. How dare you? Shut up, woman. How dare you speak to me like that? Whatever you cynical old bag. How dare you be such an immature brat? Get up to your room this instant. Naughty little girl. You're the naughty little girl, not I. So sit down, or I'll put a nappy on you. Speaking of nappies, it's time to change yours. So come upstairs and I'll change your nappy. Nikita. I think it's time you went to your room. Why? I haven't been naughty yet. Yes, you have. What have I done this time? You've just back chatted me, and that was very naughty of you. Back chat? Shove off. I never do that. You're doing it right now, as well as using such foul language towards me. You naughty little girl. Shove off isn't bad language, so get real about it. Nikita Duncan. Your language is almost as foul as your attitude. Stop back chatting me and using foul language right now. Or you're grounded for a month. Grounded? Whatever loser. That does it. Nikita Duncan. By the authority of motherhood and the power bestowed upon me by the same authority, I sentence you to a month's grounding during which you will not be allowed to leave the house except for school and medicinal checkups. 
I adjourn the mother's court session here. You're sentencing me? I already have. Sentence has been passed on you for your attitude and language. Now get in your cell. I mean go to your room. Now. Why do you always look like you're about to cry like a pathetic baby? Because you're the naughty girl who picks on me all the time. That's not it. It's because you are a pathetic little cry baby. Go and change your nappy. I thought I heard crying. Nikki the Duncan, what have you done now? I've exposed this cry baby for what he really is. He needs his nappy change. You've been bullying this boy, haven't you? That's very naughty. As the school nurse, I remind you that you're the only child here who is still in nappies. So if anybody needs changing, it's you. Come and change your nappy. Nurse Taylor. Go and change her, and have her sent home. I'm not having her naughtiness running rampant. Yes, Mr. Moore. All right you. Come and get changed, and then I'll call your mother to come and pick you up. Naughty little girl. That girl is just so naughty. This is loads of fun. Standing on the coffee table. No, young lady. Standing on the coffee table is not fun. It is really dangerous, and you are very naughty. Why am I naughty? It's naughty to stand on the table because you could fall and hurt yourself really badly. So get down now, or you'll go to bed. This may shock and surprise you, but I'm nine years old, not four. Stupid cow. Oh, really now? How dare Moo, I mean how dare you speak to me like that. You are a very naughty and insolent little girl. Well, you should be a cow. You belong on a farm grazing on grass and eating flowers. Isn't that your favorite type of sandwich? That's it. If Moo, I mean if you disobey me with an insulting name or comment one more time, you will go to bed. Not only that, you will go to bed early every night for a month. Man, what a lot of bull. In fact, the way you're talking you should be going out with one. Bullshit. Oh you are such a rude, disrespectful, foul-mannered, disgusting, and naughty little girl. I am taking you upstairs and Moo. I mean you. Are going to bed. Your father left because you were too naughty for him to handle. So I've been told to wait here because mom has a surprise for me. Nikita. You actually did as I instructed you to do. Well, here's your surprise. Who is this man? Why, Nikita, don't you recognize me? I'm your father, Paul Aaron Duncan. You're not my father. Yes, he is. And you are very naughty to chuck such an insult at him. If this stranger is my father, then where has he been for the last five years? I already explained to you he left because of your naughty behavior. It was unbearable for him. Kate. I understand her resentment. She feels abandoned by the man who fathered her, and should have stayed to help discipline her. I'm willing to give it another try, if she's willing to let this old fool back into her life. Well, Nikita, what do you say? Are you willing to give him another chance? He wants to be with his wife and daughter again. His daughter especially. He's missed you so much. If he really wants another chance, then I can see my way to giving him what he wants. An honorable man deserves another chance. And Dad. Yes, sweetheart. Please don't be afraid to tell me when my naughtiness gets out of hand. Gently. Count on it, honey kitten. I didn't realize my yelling at you made you act up worse than you were already. Why didn't you say something? I was scared in case you got angry and grounded me for two years or something. Oh, Nikita. I'd never ground you for that long. You're not senseless enough to go out and murder someone. From now on, I want you to voice your worries to me. Clear? Clear as a bell. Let me handle this one, honey. Nikita. Would you please get down? We don't want you to end up in hospital. Of course. If I'd known bringing your father back into your life would help you buckle down, I'd have done it a lot sooner. I'll ease it up a bit. But I will still be naughty though. I'm not impressed with the state of your room. I would like it if you went to clean it up please. I'm busy now. I'll do it later. 
We'd prefer it if you did it now, as you were asked. Consider this a test of your parenting skills. She's training you again. Oh. I see. You're testing me, are you? Please go and clean your room. You're being a bit naughty. Go on, dear. Do as your father says. Good job, Paul. That was very well handled. And well done for staying calm. Nikita, honey? Are you around? Where are you? She's probably hiding in an attempt to scare me. It is Halloween, don't forget. I know it is, Paul. Have you seen our daughter? I've seen Nikita, all right. She's not hiding. She's upstairs. Okay. Panic over. Can I go trick or treating tonight, Mom and Dad? Of course, sweetie. I'll accompany you. The streets can be very dangerous at night. You must behave, and no foul play. Okay, Dad. You need costumes. Trick or treat. Can't you see we're having a party? Go away. Just a second here. I'm a child, and you don't deny a child her Halloween candy. You bastard. Nikita, calm down and watch your language. I'll sort it for you. I'm this girl's father. Couldn't you spare just one piece of candy for her? Get lost. Fine. If I don't get my treat, you're getting a trick instead. I'll have you know that this coffin is cursed by the corpse that once lay in it. Nice try. Get out. No. Leave that coffin or you'll die. What do you want? Nikita. No. Stop. Behave yourself. I want you to leave my brother alone. I have no time for crybabies. I'm warning you. If you hit this girl, there will be serious trouble. Don't you dare. Take that. That's it. When we get home you are going to bed. Not only that, you're grounded as well. It was really naughty. How dare you. I can't believe I'm getting away with sneaking out while grounded. How lucky. What shall I do first? Nikita Law Duncan. You are coming home and going straight to bed. How dare you sneak out whilst grounded? That's very naughty. But... No buts young lady. Your father grounded you for being naughty while trick or treating, which you know was wrong. I was upset because the bastard denied me candy. How dare you use such foul language in public? You are now more grounded. There's no excuse for disobeying your father. Naughty little girl. I need the toilet. It's a good thing you're going to bed when we get in, as I'll put a nappy on you before I tuck you in, as usual. I'm 10. It doesn't matter if you're 10 or 20. You always have, and always will. Wear a nappy to bed. Not always. That was a good breakfast. Tea, crumpets and toast. My favorite. But it's a shame there are some people who don't know a good thing when they have it. Cunts. What was that I just heard you say? I was just saying how some people don't know a good thing when they have it. Cunts. Hold on just a second there, young lady. That is a very disgusting word, and you are very naughty to use it. But I hate those cunts. Nikita, you need to stop saying that word right now. It's the worst of all swears. You're very naughty for continuously saying it. One more time and you're a grounded missy. But. No buts. You dropped the C-bomb, and you have just caused high offense by using the word. Naughty little girl. Cunt. That's it. You are grounded for 10 weeks. How dare you say that despicable word directly to my face. You get upstairs to bed, right now. You are a very naughty little girl. The nerve of that child.
Okay, so I left my dirty PJs on the floor of my room. Your soiled PJs which you messed yourself in. Naughty little girl. That was an accident. No. You were just being lazy, and there's no excuse for that at your age. You're a very naughty little girl. Whatever. That attitude is very immature for a ten-year-old. And you wonder why we all still put nappies on you? It's because you act like a baby. Wetting and messing yourself all the time. You won't be doing that. I won't be changing your sheets every day. If I'm going to change anything, it's your nappies. I'm not having nappies on. Yes, you are. You obviously snuck your nappy off last night, which was very naughty. So, it's a nappy for you. Now. Kate? Are you home? I was upstairs putting a nappy on Nikita. What for? Soiling her PJs in the night. She did so by sneaking her nappy off. How disappointing. My cousin Julie is home, and she knows I'm naughty. How? She's seen you being naughty in public. And there will be no naughtiness of any kind today. Or trouble. Right. You need to start behaving, Nikita. Is that so? Nikita Lot Duncan. How dare you speak to me like that? You naughty girl. That was very naughty, Nikita. You do not speak to us like that. If you do it again, you will be grounded. You can't ground me. You're not my mother. No, but I'm your aunt, and while you're in my care, I have authority over you. So, you're grounded for two weeks. How dare you tell me such a naughty thing. You haven't wet yourself, have you? No. Well, I'm putting a nappy on you anyway. So come and put your nappy on, right now. Looks like I'll be changing her sometimes. I got suspended from school on Friday. I'm not allowed in for two weeks, as I received a yellow card, thus stocking me of 20 points and suspending me for two weeks. I need it to be kept a secret from mom and dad. You need what to be kept a secret from your mom and dad? The fact I got suspended for two weeks. Nikita, that's a really bad idea. Your mom and dad need to know about this. They'll ground me for three weeks if they find out. If you don't tell them about it, you run the risk of being grounded for about half a year. It's not worth it. I'm going to go through with it. And you are very naughty. How dare you ignore our warning. Tuesday. I made it through yesterday without mom and dad knowing about it. Without your mom and dad knowing about what? My suspension. You must be Nikita Duncan I've heard of you. You're that naughty little girl they're always telling off. You should tell your parents about getting suspended. Before you object, it's a far better solution than keeping it from them, which is just going to get you in bigger trouble. You're very naughty to even think about it. You're Marcia Bennett. Get out of here, alien. That is extremely racist, and very naughty. How dare you? Wednesday. Two days down. Without what? My parents knowing about my suspension. Nikita, you are so naughty. Keeping that a secret from your parents. You must tell them. No. I can't. How very naughty. You're going to find yourself in a situation you can't get out of. Thursday. The fun's over for you, Missy. I don't think so. We know so, young lady. You have been a very naughty girl. We heard you got suspended from school, and we're keeping it from your mum and dad. Your parents know about it all now. I've just been over and told them everything. The game is over. Get home and face them. Now. And you are grounded for seven months. No TV, no computer, no friends over and no phone calls. What you did was very naughty. How dare you keep your suspension secret from us for three days. You will go to bed as soon as you get home from school. Every day. Get to bed, right now. Naughty little girl.
I need to go poop, real bad. I'll just sit here and wait for it to come out, that's better. Nikita Duncan. Did you just... on my doorstep? I really had to go. So you went on my doorstep? That's disgusting, and very naughty. You are not a dog. But... No buts. I happen to run a nursery inside my house, and have just what you need. Come inside and I'll change your bottom. Oh no. Oh yes, young lady. If you're going to act like a dog by toileting on my doorstep, I am going to take you inside, clean you up and put a nappy on you. Naughty little girl. Come on. Inside, bottom change. Nappy. Right now. And you are grounded for 13 weeks. How dare you use the neighbor's doorstep as a toilet? You deserve to be put in a nappy. I really needed to go. In that case, I'll put a nappy on you before you go out next. If you need to go that desperately while you're out. And whoever's available will change you. No way. Yes way. Let's get you changed and into bed. Naughty little girl. Come on, Mom. Please. This is boring. Now, Nikita. Don't be naughty. Don't be naughty, huh? But I hate clothes shopping. Excuse me, young lady. It's Black Friday, and these clothes are 65% off. Stop complaining, right now. Be patient. But I'm bored. Hurry it up. Oh you. How dare you misbehave on a trip to the shops on Black Friday. That's very naughty. You are going to bed when we get in. I'm not a toddler. If you act like a toddler, you'll be treated like one. So, you will go to bed as soon as we get in. Naughty little girl. Merry Christmas, Mom and Dad. Merry Christmas, honey. There are still four days left till the big night. No being naughty between now and then. Five days till Christmas. I can't wait. If you're naughty, you'll go on Santa's naughty list. I may already be on the naughty list. Considering how naughty I've been this year and junk. No, sweetheart. You're currently on the nice list, and we want to keep it that way. Santa wouldn't leave you out. How about you turn the frown upside down? Give us a smile. Really? I do my best to be good. I'm not promising anything. That's all we ask. Try your best to behave. We know you're excited. After all, You've been very good this month. I think that'll be good enough for you to have a Merry Christmas. Yeah. I love you, Mum and Dad. We love you too, sweetie. Now it's time for bed. Do I have to? Nikita. Naughty. No arguing. Joking. Of course I'll go to bed. Cheeky you. Off we go. Nikita, sweetie. Mom, Dad, whatever it was, I didn't do it. No, sweetheart. You haven't been naughty. We have big news for you. What is it? We're going to have a baby. Mom, are you pregnant? Yes, I am. In nine months, you're going to have a little brother or sister. That's awesome. I get to be a big sister. Hold up, Angel. You still have nine months before becoming a big sister. This does mean you can't keep being naughty all the time. Besides, you'll need to be responsible as well. Setting examples for the baby to live by. I'll do my absolute best to be a good big sister. I have an idea for a name. It's early days yet but go on. Mervyn for a boy, and Faith for a girl. Those are great ideas. We'll take them into consideration. You need to work on your behavior. 
After all, you'll be 12 when the baby's born. Mom, I'm 10 at this time, not 11. So I'll be 11 when the baby's born. Of course you will. Silly me. We'll send you to behavior therapy. Kate, there's no need for that. I'm sure she'll do fine on her own. I will. And it'll be as easy as I make it. I found my grown-up voice. It's about time. That whiny voice didn't suit you at all. Oh shit. Nikita, that's a bit naughty. You shouldn't swear. Another year has passed us by. 2017 is almost upon us. It certainly is. And what a year it has been, huh? I don't have a lot of memories of the past year. Two minutes to go. The best things to happen were dad moving back and mom falling pregnant again. Happy New Year. 2017 has finally arrived. And what a great year it's going to be. I can tell. You've done some growing up as well. I'm going to be a big sister this year. Fuck yeah. Language please. That's naughty. But as it's the start of a new year, we'll let it slide. Who would have thought that 2017 would bring in a change like this? Dad, I'd been a big sister if I set unfortunate examples for the baby. No. But the baby's not due for another eight-ish months. Also, being naughty is no way to celebrate a new year. True enough. I couldn't be bothered to go to school today, so I thought I'd skip it. Treat myself to... Nikita. Why aren't you in school? I don't want to sit in a classroom all day doing nothing. Oh Nikita. I'm very disappointed in you. Skipping school because you couldn't be bothered to go in. That's naughty. I thought you were past this. Don't you expect me to be naughty sometimes? Yes, but not like this. You know it's naughty to skip school, and you could get arrested if the police catch you. I'll consider myself lucky it was you who caught me in that respect. I know it's wrong of me to skip school, and I'm ready to take whatever punishment you've got in mind. How very grown up of you to admit you were wrong to skip school. They'll suspend you for 30 days if you go back now, so I'll ground you for 24 hours. Lenience is okay, seeing as you admitted your wrongdoing. Yes, Mom. I deserve it. I don't feel so good. Sickness. Great. Nikita. You don't look well. I don't feel it either. But I'm sure it'll pass. I think I'd better put you to bed. You'll get better quicker with bed rest. I hardly think that'll be necessary. Nikita, if you're sick, you should be in bed. What's going on? Nikita has fallen ill and doesn't want to go to bed. Please. It'll pass. Nikita. If you're ill, you should go to bed. It'll pass faster with bed rest. Maybe so, but I'm sure. Ble Off to bed now. You poor thing. Cheeky little devil. That's that sorted. I'll say. Nikita, why aren't you in bed? Why would I be in bed? We thought you were sick. Sick? Of course I wasn't sick. I was faking it. Oh, Nikita. That's a naughty trick. You did such a convincing job at it that you had us completely fooled. I have such gullible parents. We're not happy you misled us like that. But we are very happy you're okay. On the other hand, Tricking us into thinking you were sick is like lying, and that's naughty. That is unacceptable behavior, and no way to set an example for your brother or sister. We are very disappointed in you. To ensure it doesn't happen again, I think you need to be grounded. Three days should be suffice. Yes, Mom and Dad. I deserve it. All right, young lady. I demand to know what you think you're doing with dirty magazines stashed under your bed. Dirty magazines? What are you talking about? Don't even think about playing the innocent card with me. You've been very naughty. Tell me now, or you're grounded. They're not mine. I'm holding on to them for a friend. Which friend? Give me the name of the scumbag, 
right now. Dolph Simmons. How old is this man? He's only 23 years old. That's it. I am taking those magazines away, calling the police and grounding you for 12 weeks. How dare you hold on to adult magazines for a man who is 13 years older than you. He's nothing more than a pervert who wants to lure you into his trap and snatch you so he can rape you. Or worse. Murder you. I will not let that happen to my daughter. I will be telling your father about this. He's going to be furious. Go to your room, right now. Naughty little girl, I cannot believe that child. 10, almost 11, about to be a big sister and she goes and does the unthinkable. How dare she, for this, I need to change her naughty bottom. She can wear nappies until the baby's born. Being changed when she needs it.